Hey loves, it's Jane here from Your Wild Truth. Just wanted to give you a bit of an update around the full moon we've got coming up. It's that time of the month again. Um, so this month, in, uh, we're in Pisces um, mansion still, we have a Virgo full moon. So that means that the um, moon is in the part of the sky known as Virgo. And if you look up into the sky over the next couple of days, the moon's going to be lovely and full. So it's Wednesday, um, the 16th today and the moon moved into Virgo already so we are in the energy of the full moon already so any of these rituals or practices that you want to do um can be done anytime between now and um and Friday the full moon's at its peak it's at its fullest at 17 minutes past seven on Friday morning um and yeah so you can work with the full moon energy for a couple of days before and a couple of days after um so don't there's no like massive pressure um to get it absolutely bang on but of course um i really like to use it precisely so if um if at all possible and you want to you know really use the energy to its full potential just you know do it as close to 17 minutes past seven on friday morning as you can um so yeah what does the full moon in virgo mean well virgo energy is very organized it's very um grounded so it's really hard to hide anything that's not real during um, Virgo um, energy and so anything that you've been sort of joking to you know like not telling a truth with yourself about or you've not been straight about something or you've been kind of like heads been in the clouds a bit this grounded energy that comes with Virgo moon is really sort of going to bring you back down to earth so depending on where you are how much in your truth you are um and how much um what your how the way that you're living resonates fully with who you are um if you are far away from that you're probably going to find this full moon energy quite tricky if you're living in that energy and things are really working for you at the moment you're living in your truth and you you know you're finding that things are un un unraveling just like you know really aligned with your beliefs and stuff you're probably going to get the opportunity to do more of that during this full moon so depending on where you are whether you're far, far, further away or whether you're closer to it um the um virgo full moon will definitely get you to notice um um getting more lined up so it's about planning about making plans and like i say about getting organized about um yeah just about bringing all of that bringing all of that energy into play to get some plans in place so we've got the equinox coming up as well on sunday so it's a really beautiful time of year got this truth teller like you'll you will wake up to your truth or there'll be an opportunity to plan and flow even more into your truths of where you are as long as they're coming from a place of groundedness re realistic um sort of planning um and that kind of thing the downside with the virgo energy is that it's a bit of an overthinker can be quite critical um so just being careful not to get too much into those you know, those thoughts that can send you down into a spiral maybe. Um, and just using this Virgo energy to really help you to, um, yeah, forge your way forward. Because we are coming into, Pisces is all about flow. So we're in the Pisces mansion, that's going to be moving into Aries really soon. But we're in the Pis Pisces mansion at the moment. It's all about flow. It's all about emotion. It's about spirituality. It's about... Um, yeah, all of these things that are kind of up there. So so if you are lined up to your truth and your purpose, and um, this grounded energy that's coming with Virgo won't be too problematic. And because we're in that Pisces mansion, you'll be able to still keep flowing forward. You might find it quite a, um, a, a positive experience in terms of um, how you feel energetically. It also depends as well where things are placed in your birth chart. So it will be different for everybody, all depending on where what's placed in your birth chart. I can I can tell you a bit more about that if anybody wants any more information about their birth chart, you can get in touch with me by direct message. Um, and what was the other thing to say? Yeah, so just being, so when it comes to doing your ritual, get around the fire. I'm going to be getting around the fire on Friday night with some 
goddesses really looking forward to seeing some soul sisters that i haven't seen for a while as we come together it's technically like new year's eve really <laughs> because um this is the end of the astrological year so when we move into aries and um, that begins the start of the astrological year so the next new moon that we um have will be like the beginning point so this is just the ending point of this cycle so it's uh, it's pretty cool it's um really nice to look back over the year and have a have a think about what you've done where you've where you've what you've you know um put in place the lessons you've learned all of the experiences you've gone through and that virgo energy will really have you looking at it in a way that's very grounded and realistic so if reality is something that you struggle with um hold on because it might be a toughie um so yeah get around a fire if you can't get around a physical fire you can just light a candle <clears throat> being careful of course if you're going to be burning any paper at home i tend to do it like over the sink or i've got a little pot that i do mine in and just making sure that you never throw your ashes in the bin you know treat it in a way that's really sacred let it go into the wind when you've finished um but just writing down some things that you're ready to let go of because the full moon is all about letting go so what stuff are you ready to release what things are no longer serving you? What things are, yeah, pulling you away from your your true purpose, pulling you away from your truth? Really getting a, a truthful eye on that now, feeling into it. And, you know, I've said this a hundred times, you don't have to put out to the world what your truth is, but you have to know it yourself. So just if the only person that you are honest with is yourself, be it that. You don't have to shout about it. You don't have to tell another soul about what your truth is. But be true with yourself. Okay? <laughs> Go gently. Enjoy the full moon and bask in her. Like tonight, Wednesday, tomorrow night, Thursday. She's going to be looking really beautiful. Um, and across the weekend as well. So um yeah 17 minutes past seven on friday morning if you can get yourself into a little ritual at that time um it's going to be really potent for letting anything go that's not lining up to your purpose i'm sending you loads of love um and just yeah keeping in mind that the equinox is here on sunday and that is all about spring yay spring uh, so many people i know are excited for spring there are some people that are freaked out by spring because they are winter people but I am definitely a spring person and just really bringing, you know, this Virgo moon along with the equinox and that's, you know, the, 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 the fruits of what we planted during the winter solstice are starting now to, to grow. So, you know, looking forward to what's to come and the Virgo energy will allow you to plan and get organised. I'm sending you loads of love. Enjoy full moon. Enjoy the equinox. And I'll speak soon. Bye, loves.